Deep in the swamps of Scenaria, there wanders a male Sarkius. He's just reached adulthood, and like any other male of his age, he's searching for a mate. The Sarkius breeds in the winter, and they raise their offspring in pairs. These creatures can grow up to 9 feet tall at the shoulder, up to 40 feet in length, and usually weigh around 1.3 tons. The Sarkius can run at almost 30 miles an hour, and has a bite force equivalent to that of a great white shark. While far from the largest predator, the Sarkis is still, for its size, incredibly dangerous. Here we watch our male Sarkis crossing the river, heading back into the swamp. He's been searching for a mate for a while. The male Sarkis carefully treads the swamp, fully prepared to battle with other predators or a rival male. Nothing will get between him and a mate. This here is a female Sarkis. These creatures are far more likely to form bonds with other animals than males of the same species, but are just as deadly. This one senses a disturbance in her territory, and so she leaves her den to investigate. She notices the male Sarkius and seems intrigued, yet cautious. He could be dangerous, or he could be a possible mate. The male begins his dance. This is the first stage in a successful pairing between Sarkius couples. The female watches, still seeming a little unsure. In order to impress the female, the male must dance until he is completely exhausted. Finally, after a good while of dancing, the female joins him. She accepts. The female leads the male back into a den and nesting site. This is where they shall raise their offspring. After a few weeks, the male returns from yet another unsuccessful hunt. His lack of a glowing tail makes it difficult for him to lure prey, which means it's hard for him to hunt. While uncommon, this lack of bioluminescence isn't unheard of, and usually means that instead of simply luring prey in, the Sarkis will have to use his brain in order to hunt. However, this one doesn't seem particularly gifted in this department, making him a rather pathetic specimen. When he returns, the female is waiting for him with a surprise, a nest! The male watches curiously as a baby Sarkis hatches from one of the eggs. The female wanders away to the drinking pond. After all, making babies is thirsty work. This leaves the male Sarkis alone with his hatchling. Male Sarkiuses are less likely to form bonds with other creatures, including their own offspring. This Sarkis in particular seems not to recognize his child as his own, and instead as a male. When the female returns, she notices that her baby has disappeared, and in its place, a carcass. She looks to the male, who is displaying very aggressive behavior, and concludes that he has begun to devour their child. Overwhelmed with grief, the mother runs away to the cliffside. Sadly, this Sarkia seems very prone to mental health issues, and it seems she is considering taking her own life. Soon, she will jump into the murky depths below, and either drown or be killed by a larger creature. Either way, she succumbs to the release of death. She jumps. After a few seconds in the ice cold water, she has a moment of clarity. Instead of being stricken with grief, she is instead filled with rage. She must avenge her baby. With unbelievable strength, she returns back to the swamp. She finds the male who is still acting aggressively. This only fuels her rage. The two Sarkias engage in an aggressive display, both vocalizing their anger to one another. The female is angry that her baby is dead, but the male is positive that she is overreacting. The fight escalates, and the male does the unthinkable. He attacks the female. A new kind of rage is born within the female, and she immediately chases him. Soon the male is trapped between the female and the edge of the cliff. She slowly approaches him, snapping with her teeth to scare him backwards. This causes the male Sarkius to back away, seemingly unaware of the danger behind him. The female edges closer and closer, and then attacks him. The male Sarkius falls into the ice-cold water, and is never seen by her again. This is what a divorce looks like in Scenario. The final step in a Sarkius divorce is to seek therapy. 
The female Sarkis has sought out grief counseling from this Kriprik, and after some self-care, this female may be able to breed once more. <laughs>